Welcome to TSN. We've got an outstanding card for you this week, including an America's title match with this man, the champion Larry Zabisco, defending his America's title against Steve-O, Steve-O Zanowski. This is one of the very few times I have ever seen you bring that belt anywhere except into the ring at a title match. Well, you know, I, I made it clear before, I think these people can understand English, that it was because too many people are trying to steal this. There's been too much controversy over this belt, how much money it's worth. A lot of rumors has been attempted by Bob Backlund. As you know, uh, I do have a match signed against Steve Olsenowski. Should be coming up later. That is, of course, if the uh, man has the guts to uh, show up in the ring, if he has the guts to face me. I know what you're thinking, Larry, but let me tell you something. You know, I would believe and I would not be surprised if Olsenowski put his tail between his legs and ran because I think that one of his heroes, one of his idols, is of course the world champion uh, Rick Martel. And we all know that Rick Martel's hiding, and Rick Martel is running. From and he's what? zipping up. From what? He's running from me, because I am the America's heavyweight champion last. And I am the man who could take the world championship away from Rick Martel. And it's plain and simple as that. There's no getting around the fact that you are the America's champion. There's also no getting around the fact that most of your matches end in some sort of controversy or another. You have been known to leave an arena. Well, let me tell you something. Purposes. People cannot handle, you people, the promotion, these people cannot handle the psychological warfare that Larry Zabisco deals with. You know, I've got endurance, I've got strength, I've got speed, I've got wrestling knowledge. So do other athletes, so does Rick Martell, so does Rick Bockwinkle, so does Ray Stevens, the Freebirds, the Brad Rannigan's a tough wrestler. I mean, there's a lot of tough wrestlers. There's one thing that takes the edge away from these wrestlers, and that's mentality. That's intelligence. When I go in that ring with an opponent, he doesn't know if I'm coming or going. He doesn't know what I'm thinking. I've got my game plan right. And they don't. They have to change that. That's psychological warfare. That's why Martell is hiding. That's why Steve Olsenowski might sign his name on the dotted line, but might miss the plane. I just don't... I can't grasp your having the audacity to stand here and tell me that Rick Martell is hiding. Okay, let me tell you something. You know, there's one thing good about you, Larry, and that is your name. Why I have the audacity is because I have the America's Heavyweight Championship belt, and that is the truth that I am what I am and I say the truth and it's Rick Martell and all the rest of the people who are hiding and you know, all the little Canadians over here probably stashing them in some lavatory and some gas station somewhere when I'm in town but that's the truth this is the bottom line and the reality America's champion Larry Zabisco will defend the title against Steve-O in about 40 minutes Minnesota he weighed in at 232 pounds here's Steve-O Steve Ostrowski And his opponent, at 245 pounds, out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, America's champion, Larry Zabisco. That's <laughs> all 45 minutes. You're up for me, Joe Fierino now, down the ringside. Thank you, Ken Resnick. There's a good look at the America's champion. That is Larry Zabisco. <laughs> Maybe the most arrogant man in wrestling, been called the sneakiest man in wrestling. And if he's not the biggest crybaby in wrestling, he's certainly one of them. Steve-O, Steve-O Zanowski, well liked wherever he goes. An excellent wrestler. This should be a dandy. Larry Zabisco at 245, Steve Olsenowski at 232. Zabisco, the America's champion. Doesn't bring his belt out that often, but he brought it out tonight. Joe Fiorino has been in there refereeing Zabisco's matches before, and he is not going to take a whole lot of lip off the America's champion. Joe Fiorino simply wants Larry Zabisco to get with the program. Zabisco comes over and asks me what the problem is, as though he's not the one creating it. Joe Fiorino wants that bell, and there it is. Steve Olsenowski and Larry Zabisco. This could be a dandy match. 45 minute time limit on this bout. One fall. Zabisco doesn't like to start right away. He uses a lot of psych out tactic himself. Now he's going out of the ring. Steve O's going right after him. There is 
Zabisco right in front of us, having an absolute fit in the direction of anyone who wants to listen. And he does a lot of the tactics of just trying to psych his opponent out. He moves around a lot. Feeling out process. I don't think these two men have ever been in the ring against one another before, so there'll be some of that. You see the bandage, or what looks like a bandage, around the wrist of Steve Olsenowski. I don't know what that's all about. Again, Zabisco acting like he wants to wrestle and then backs off. And uses a little more. Joe Fiorino counting on him. He's had about enough. Zabisco and Olsenowski. Zabisco wanting to call a timeout. That's not going to happen. And Steve O right after him. And Zabisco out of the ring. Going right with him. Zabisco outside, Steve Olsenowski inside, and Jeff Fiorino just wants something to happen here. He says, wait a minute. This is typical Larry Zabisco. This is the way he starts almost every match. Works the crowd into a frenzy. Irritates the living daylights out of his opponent and the referee. But once he gets started, do not underestimate the America's champion. He is dead. He works the referee, waiting for an advantage, maybe down the road, if he can get the referee thinking that uh, it's his turn. Steve Olsenowski with a self-explanatory signal. Again, he tries to move in on Zabisco, and again, Zabisco retreats. Both of these men are quick. The size advantage isn't really that much, and the strength advantage is pretty even. And again, Zabisco's up, and Olsenowski's right on him this time. No way! Joe Fiorino counting. turns it around, and Olsenowski throws the Visco off. Joe Fiorino says, perfectly legal, did it with the open hand. Steve Olsenowski offering a handshake. Visco wanting nothing to do with that. We have yet to see a wrestling hole. And we're almost five minutes into this match. Collar and elbow into the ropes again. Zabisco shoves Olsenowski off. Olsenowski shoves back. And now it is the headlock on Larry Zabisco by Olsenowski. Throwing him out of it. And back to the headlock. A wild flurry. Both of these men, very, very, very skilled wrestlers. We passed the five minute mark. This is one fall, 40 minutes. Olsenowski throwing out of it. Sunset flip! Zabisco gets out of it. Zabisco's in the ropes, there won't even be a count.
now Steve Osinowski. These are two fast wrestlers. And now they're both more or less Steve Osinowski completely outside of the ring. Goes down to the floor, and Larry Zabisco upset. Now, Larry Zabisco with some words for a fellow at ringside, the entire crowd getting into it. Steve Olzanowski is running around outside the ring. Takes up a chant. I can't pick up what they're saying, but Zabisco doesn't like it at all. Joe Fiorino backs Zabisco up. Steve Olzanowski in the ring. Her trunks are basically the same color. I just now noticed that. Steve Olzanowski's a little paler. Looks like he's been wearing them a little longer, or at least washes them more often than Zabisco washes his. This go with a kind of a bear hug on Steve Olsenowski. That's the way out of it. Steve Olsenowski throws Zabisco to the mat and then backs up. Now he comes in and Zabisco backs up and Joe Fiorino wants him to settle down again. Olsenowski puts Fiorino out of the way, and Fiorino comes right back in. You don't shove Joe Fiorino around. He is an excellent referee. And again, the crowd giving Zabisco all kinds of verbal abuse. They're still circling one another. They're still very, very wary of one another. Kind of a sitting step over toe hold that Steve Ozanowski had sitting toe hold by Larry Zabisco. Got that leg locked and locked up tight. Steve Ozanowski has Zabisco. Well, now Zabisco comes up and it looks like he's going for a face or chin lock. It's not a joke. And they're all wrapped up. You heard Zabisco scream, it's not a joke. Whatever it is, Steve Ozanowski's out of it. Back up on the leg. Will he step? Oh! Wow, came right down on the knee. Steve Olsenowski dishing out a lot of punishment for the left leg of America's champion, Larry Zabisco. Now he takes it into a step over to a hold, but Zabisco kicks out, flips Olsenowski. He came down hard. Zabisco right on top of him. Olsenowski throws out of it. And they both cut the shoulder. Zabisco out of the ring. They are both stunned. Why isn't Joe Fiorino counting on Larry Zabisco? Now he starts the count. Zabisco trying to get back in. Olsenowski meets him. Forearm across the back. And he helps him up. Well, he, now they're arguing over who's coming out and who's coming in. Olsenowski over the top rope. That is not a disqualification. Zabisco didn't throw him over that top rope. I can't see Steve Olsenowski. He went flying over that top rope. He had to come down hard. The crowd screaming abuse to Zabisco, and now we see Olsenowski trying to get up. Zabisco right on him with the knee. Larry Zabisco now the king of the ring, and we got to wait and see what's going to happen. There you see Steve Olsenowski. He is hurt. We are 10 minutes into this match. 10 minutes, man. 10 minutes. One fall, 40-minute time limit. Steve Olsenowski hurt. He's getting a chance to regroup outside the ring, and now Zabisco coming up behind him and again gives him that knee. Larry Zabisco telling Jeff Fiorino to count. What's this guy? I guess just checking out one of the turnbuckles. You never know what is going on in the mind of Larry Zabisco. 
of course, when he comes over like that, the count has to start all over again, or Joe Guerrero runs him off. Tito Zanowski trying to calmly collect himself and regroup outside the ring. It looks like he's in, well, at least he's had a chance to catch his breath. Olzanowski comes up, Zabisco meets him with a knee, this time directly into the chest. And back out goes Steve Olzanowski. Looks like he got him on the wrist that time. That's the wrist that Steve Olzanowski has bandaged. I do not know why. But Steve O getting fired up and getting the crowd into it. And he'll dash around on the outside, comes up on the apron again. Zabisco on him, but Steve O waiting on him. Sunset flip! Zabisco out of it! Two count. Zabisco missing! He only got two of them! Ozanowski looks like he may be trying to go for a suplex situation here. Zabisco trying to bridge him off. Now joining me at ringside, Ken Resnick. Okay, very, very, very exciting right now. Steve Olsenowski on the verge of a tremendous victory over the American champion. He'll get the leg on the ropes. And that will save Larry Zabisco. You can do that. You do it too close to the ropes. Zabisco is just too smart. He is a crafty veteran inside of that ring. There's no two ways about that. Steve Ozanowski right now is giving the America's champion everything he can handle. Well, he's going to take him across that rope to the eyes. Oh, uh -oh. right across the head. Larry Zabisco got the knee up, and that had to knock the sense out of Steve Ozanowski at least temporarily. Zabisco on him. Looks like he's going to go for the pile driver. He can't get him up. I'll tell you, what did I go? I was just about to say, what an accounting Steve Olsenowski is giving of himself against the America's champion. But there, the leverage not quite right. Zabisco was able to turn it around. Talking about turning it around. I got Zabisco when Olsenowski was thinking about taking him all four corners. Package! Zabisco somehow got out of it. I'll tell you, there, this is about the fourth time in this match Zabisco has come within a half a second of being pinned. Two drop kicks. Steve Olsenowski goes to the second rope. Oh. And he missed it on the elbow. I'll tell you, that neck breaker of Zabisco's is absolutely devastating. I don't know how many opponents that has pinned. Well, he didn't get Steve Ozanowski. Steve somehow managing to get that one shoulder off the mat as Joe Fiorino is beginning to come down for count of three. And back comes Steve-O. Look at Steve Olsenowski. What a battle he is giving Larry Zabisco. And now it's Olsenowski with the cover, but Zabisco kicks out of it. But these guys are groggy. And again, Zabisco will get him up for the pile run. And that's oh. he gets it. America's champion knows he has been in a battle. 15 minutes into the bout. Larry Zabisco with that oh so devastating pile rider. Hey, look at this. They're both groggy. Zabisco comes with one of the breadbasket, one of the neck, and 
Devo double up was in perfect position. Javisco picked him up and oh, right there. And then it's just a matter of covering him. Larry Zabisco stacking up the spine and a brain cell of Steve Ozanowski. And he's got all he can do just to get over him from the cover. But cover him he did. Three count, your winner. America's champion, Larry Zabisco.